All right, let's get to our uh, next match. We have Jelly versus Dunkus Kunk. Uh, All righty. Jelly, make sure I want to make sure this I make the statement, man. He came from from Vegas, but he considers himself a Texan, man. Oh, really? Yes. I didn't know that. This I knew he man, came from Vegas. He came from Vegas, man, but this is his home, man, and he wants to represent. So, okay. super pumped to see this man Ooh, do work. So. Nice up there. So, Falco Fox, the classic of classic matchups. Yes. He's, he, this is this is such a cool matchup. So dynamic because all Falco wants to do is keep Fox at that one distance mm -hmm. where he's just out of range of a short hop nair, but he can still laser and go in. Oh, but that SD is exactly what you don't want to do as part of your game plan because as Falco, you want to make sure that you're keeping your feet yeah. Not firmly on the ground, no, or at least with the ground underneath your feet whenever you're hopping around. Or and to try to stay as close to center stage at times. Because Agreed. as soon as you get up thrown by Fox, you get bears and you get into tricky situations where Fox can really punish you off stage. Mm. Fox Fox is probably the best at punishing a Falco off stage. It's either him or Marth. I, I definitely uh, agree with you on that. And then you also, but then, you know, Fox in this matchup, all Fox really wants to do is actually just hit him. Fox, look at that. Up throw, side B, Falco's up sta off stage. And once Falco's off stage, like, there's so little that Falco can do. You can try, but Fox is a Fox is equipped to deal with literally everything Falco has, and Fox can kill Falco like nobody's business. Yeah, I so could, I could definitely see that. A lot of this matchup ends up like Fox. You'll see him be very aggressive just in general, and you'll see Falco just try to stay away and just try to get lasers and try to get those like shine combos because Falco definitely has the better combo game, but Fox can just. Kill him. Right, well, and, and you touched on a very important part in, the, in in this matchup is the dynamic, right? So what Yuga folks can look out for is in neutral, Foxes love to go in there and get Nair Shine pressure, but for the combo opportunities, they want up throws. And up throws into Nairs, into Bears, into all sorts of stuff will, is usually the tricks that it yeah, really takes. You definitely but Falco, on the other hand, wants those shines. Oh, yeah. He wants those well, shines into Pillars, You also bears. definitely, uh, shines are great for Fox, too, because even if you send him into a tech chase, by the way, nice four stock from Jelly. I don't, I don't know if we can call it a four stock because there was like two SDs in yeah. there. Yeah. Well, but I mean, that's you know, but that's part of it. You know what? You uh, can't uh, dunk a skunk. I think it's pretty safe to say he isn't as acclaimed as Jelly is around here. Right. And if you're playing somebody that you know, it would you know it'd be an upset if you won, right? <laughs> like if it's an upset and you win, like yeah. there's a pressure there, and some people like some people handle it better than others. And SDing, like I guarantee you, he doesn't SD like that normally. I can. I it's only now agree. that it's on stream against somebody that he knows he's <laughs> yeah. gonna have a hard time against. And that's something that, that people nice shine. constantly. Oh, he went missed really the ledge, deep. and oh, he almost he almost killed himself for it. And he, that's yeah. a little bit that's a little bit more surprising to me because Jelly's been in this situation hundreds of times. So good nice dunk. down air, but oh, side B. Oh, he if wanted he the side B spike, but I don't actually think that works. I don't think it works against Firefox. Yeah, even, no, even if Firefox he had done it earlier, better. I mean, it trades. It's it's still yeah, exactly. Not even in his favor. So okay, Z. And and these are interesting options where you're watching uh, Jelly just go in here, try to do the simple stuff. He's also trying to see if Dunkuskunk is going to make some choices here. He's been going straight for the bottom, holding that ledge, and then saying, you know what, I'm going to use the invincibility, I'm going to time when you're going to come back onto the stage, and then come back and back air. Yep. And that's a consistent it's, strategy that yeah. you'll see Spacey I mean, team. it's just, it's textbook, right? That is, is That is the Spacey edge guard. Yes. And it's that, for Fox, it's either you're doing that or you're shine spiking. Every single other thing that Fox may do is considered a little bit, or not, it's just not standard. Yeah. Um, in it's this matchup, Fox, Fox can kill a Falco with a shine in in neutral. I mean, like, out of neutral, Fox hits him with a shine, a grab, an up tilt, a down tilt, and sometimes, sometimes even an, uh, an F tilt. Like, Fox can get so much out of that. And if he grazes Falco with a back air or an air, like even back air and air, once Fal uh, Falco gets to that like 80, 90 yeah. percent, those will send him off stage. That's yeah. the thing is that. Falco's really fragile in this matchup because Fox can get Falco off stage insanely easily. Yeah, absolutely, and it has a lot to do with uh, the shine right there. Yeah, like you can. I've seen stocks shed left and right because they made a poor mistake at the edge and they just got shined. And that's it said. forces them into tumble, and then they're just just in a rough position because now a lot of angles are covered, and the lower and lower you get, the less and less likely it is you're going to have that ability to go high. And it's interesting because right now Dunka Skunk is ahead. Oh, nice up tilt. Oh, my Ooh, goodness. Ooh, he, he really almost, wanted he that barely, bear. That up tilt barely didn't send him low enough for the bear. So right now, like, Dunkuskunk is ahead. But if you watch the neutral play out between the two, Jelly ends up doing a lot of things. Where, like, you'll see Dunkuskunk go for a lot of shines that will just barely miss. Mm. 
And that's like the sign of the Fox playing it right. Because Fox can space out, because Falco's, okay, Falco's shine is smaller than Fox's, right? Yeah. Like, that's pretty common knowledge. And if Falco, or Fox spaces out mares or bears, or even like crosses up, and the Falco isn't expecting that, mm. Falco can throw out a shine and it actually just won't matter. Like, Fox can get a punish on that shine. That was Whoa, an amazing dunk, though. And Dunk is going, he could definitely clutch this one out. He can. Uh, and this is a lot better of a performance that we saw than last time. Um, I, Jelly, I kind of wish he hadn't gone for that hard read on that tech chase. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he, he was right about the roll in. He was wrong about the positioning. Um, it's full hop Nair. Sometimes it's the best option in this. Oh, my goodness. That's punishing the air dodge. But it's not going to be enough. Those that air dodges. Back air is those air it. dodges. Those that'll kill you. That'll, oh yeah. You can't air dodge like that. It's unfortunate that like it happens to everybody sometimes. Yeah. But man, especially against Fox, dude, like that is so brutal. I mean, you you have one of the guys who has the most, some of the most ridiculous up smashes in the game. You just ooh, you can't nice up smash let yourself be punished right like that. Can't leave yourself open. All right. So I think if, if Duncan Kasung can get in real quick. Oh, nice shine. Oh, but I think he I think he thought he would whiff the shine, and so he double he jumped like way too high for it. Oh, is that gonna be it? Yes, oh, that yep, is. That'll be it. And, and Jelly, Jelly will takes take it. Two O over Duncan Kasung. Uh, game two was a lot closer than game one, but in the end, it just seemed like. It just seemed like Jelly had like a better grasp of the punish game. He had a better grasp of like what to do against Falco. Whereas like there were a couple shines that Dunkuskunk got, and he just didn't convert off of them properly. Yeah, and there, there's just a, a bit more to be uh, wished for from Dunkuskunk. There was there were not enough conversions, and I think the nerves I think was the big part at the beginning. I agree. A lot of a lot of missed uh, wavelengths. 